Cost Accounting 21, the effect of sales mix on profit. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page, St. Louis Test Prep. For a similar video, you can see Management Accounting 13. So what this is all about is when quantities of various, the, the quantities of various products and services that make up total sales. We sell different products that have different costs and as a result different contribution margins and profits. So let's assume our example is Levi's jeans. They have a straight leg and a comfortable fit division. In terms of units sold for a particular period, 100 for the straight leg, 150 for comfortable fit. If I click on here, a total of 250 jeans sold. Straight leg happens to be 40% of the total Comfortable fit happens to be 60% of the total. What runs down the left-hand side here in this income statement is information we've already seen on prior videos. Revenue, less variable cost, equals contribution margin. That's our definition. A minus B. If I subtract fixed costs, I end up with operating income. So what we have at the left for each unit for each division is the per unit cost and then when we multiply for example fifty dollars in revenue times a hundred pairs of jeans we get revenue in total dollars so I've done per unit for each division and I've done total dollars for each division and then finally the total dollars add across to the right now Let's make an assumption in when we talk about break-even. We've done break-even on prior videos. But for break-even for sales mix, let's assume the sales mix does not change at different sales levels. So by that I mean these per unit items stay the same and the percentage of total genes sold between the straight leg and the comfortable fit division stay the same throughout. Cost accounting 19 covers break-even formula. Let's list it here again, revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost. When we set our operating income equal to zero, we're going to come up with break-even. So our first step to figure out break-even when we have a sales mix is we want to solve the break-even formula for U, which is the number of units sold, that U is our variable. So if I look at revenue, I take the per unit revenue for both products, $50 per unit revenue for straight leg, $40 per unit revenue for comfortable fit, 50 and 40, and then I'm going to multiply it by the percentage of the total sales for straight leg, it's 40% of the total sales, so it's 40% of you. For comfortable fit, it's 60% of sales. So it's 0.6U. And if I look at the formula that I come up with here and click on it, if I take $50 times 40%, I get 44. If I take $50 times 40% plus $40 times 60%, and I basically add this entire formula up, I get 44. So what I just did was I used the revenue and the percentage of the total units and came up with 44U for revenue. And we, when we look at the formula down here for break even, there's our 44U that represents the revenue, 44U. We did the same thing for variable cost. Variable cost for straight leg was 25. Variable cost for comfortable fit was 20. Straight leg has six, still has 40% of sales. Comfortable fit, 60%. So if I take that whole formula, $25 times 40 plus $20 times 60, I end up with 22. That 22U is the variable cost part of my break-even function. And then the fixed cost is simply the sum of the fixed costs that we had here at the top of the page, 1500 and 1500 to get to 3000 
there's my 3,000. So if I take 44U revenue, 22U variable cost, 3,000 fixed cost, set it equal to zero, there's how the formula looks. And if I do a little algebra, I find out that U is 136.36, and I need to change this. We break even at about 136.6 units. So what we just did was we figured out we figured out break even when we have a sales mix. Break even point at sales mix and we just figured out that that was 136.36. Now that's in total. We can take that 136.36 and figure out how many units we sell for each division to get to our break-even. So if we multiply the break-even units times 40%, I get the straight leg units I sell at break-even. 60% times the 136, I get the comfortable fit units I sell at break-even. And if I add them together, as a check figure, I get the same 136.36. The next thing I can do, and this is almost the formula you need to memorize, is come up with a weighted average contribution margin per unit. Now, we already saw above that weighted average is revenue minus variable cost. Well, that contribution margin, excuse me, is revenue minus variable cost. We know that basic formula. But now we need to throw in the fact that we sell a different combination of straight leg and comfortable jeans. So, contribution margin per unit, if I click on there, it was given to us at the top of the page for straight leg is 25. Contribution margin per unit, click on that for comfortable fit. Contribution margin, comfortable fit was 20. And so my numerator, which is everything above the line, is multiplying straight leg contribution margin per unit times the number of units I sold, which again was 100 at the very top of the page. Comfortable fit, the $20 contribution margin per unit times 150, which is given at the top of the page as units sold for comfortable fit. So I've got that one big numerator at the top. My denominator is the sum of the units I've sold, the 100 plus the 150. And if I do the math, so there's the math for that formula, 25 times 100 plus 20 times 150. My numerator is 5,500. The 250, the sum of the sales in the two divisions, that 250 number is also here at the top of the page is units sold by the company as a whole, 250. And so I find out that, if I click on the cell, the 5,500 numerator divided by 250 number of units sold denominator gets me a weighted average contribution margin, 22. So it's not surprising it looks reasonable that the weighted average contribution margin is something between straight leg at 25 and comfortable fit at 20. The last thing we can do is break-even point using the weighted average contribution margin. It's not up above, but another way to figure out is to take fixed cost divided by contribution margin. Because if we remember in prior videos, what I've said is, the way to think about contribution margin is, I have fixed costs left over to pay for, and anything beyond that gives me operating income. So whatever my contribution margin is, in this case 25, once I subtract my fixed costs, the rest is profit. If you consider that in, down here, my contribution margin, which is $22 a unit that I just figured out on a weighted average, has to cover $3,000 in fixed cost, which is the total fixed cost for the entire company. I can click and show you how that's related up here at the top, 1500 plus 1500 So my contribution margin 
at 22, if I cover that entire $3,000 fixed cost, I'm at break even. And if I take 3,000 total fixed cost and I divide it by the weighted average contribution margin, I get the 136.36, which agrees with the original break even up above that I figured out right here. So I proved that the break even formula here gets me the same result as the break even process that I did up here for sales mix. They get me the same number. That's as far as we're going to get on cost accounting 21 or not on the web videos or additional videos and spreadsheets not on YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Ken Boyd STL, you can email for a complete listing of all of our videos on YouTube. For live one-on-one -on -one tutoring and chat sessions, stltest.net is the website. Here's our email and our phone number. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time.